touch something again. Right. Every time I, I take photos and videos because I often wonder if I, this could be the last time. I'm always worried that something will happen to my van, especially now uh, with somebody throwing a brick at it um, on purpose. And, you know, MOT in February. I know it seems that that's January, that's still, that's only three months, less than three months, about three months I've got. Um, it's very scary indeed, and um, so I, I do a lot of videos all the time. I, every time I come, I take lots of photos. I do lots of videos because every time I come is special. It's not just coming down Holford again. It's not like that. No, every single time I come. And I've been lucky to see the deer, even under the stressful circumstances. But also, every time I come, it's a different season or a different month. You know, there's slight, sometimes very rapid changes. Um, and then very slow ones, like in the winter, the, the, it's a sort of greyer once all the leaves have gone. But the, the autumn is beautiful, isn't it? All this golden yellow beauty that we have around us. I'm still keeping an eye out in case I see a stag, you know. It might have been... But look at that colour. The camera's just started to play up a bit, actually. Now the sun's fading. It's just uh, playing up a little bit. It's gone a bit dark. I must have pressed something again. It does happen. I don't know what I press. But uh, whatever it is, by accident, it's uh, made it go dark, and it isn't even dark yet. Yeah, so this is the 18th of November. Um, 18th of November. 2019. Hmm. Yes, 18th. <sighs> it's just so beautiful though, the colours. You can never really capture it on a camera exactly, but it's the closest you've got um, when you play it back, you know, it's the closest you've got to being there. That's why video is good, because you can hear yourself going along. Um, like I said, it has suddenly gone dark. I might, have, I do press buttons by accident, I don't know how I do it, but there are buttons in the way, I always think. But uh, this is the first time it suddenly just started to happen. Um, it's all right on the photos because I do, um, I put a flash in. But it got me walking up here quite a few times now over the years. I mean, I've, uh, I've really, really done a lot on um, the Quantox this past year, especially. You know, the past two or three years, yeah, I've done a lot, a lot of exploring. Um, it had to be done, basically, it had to be done because, you know, at the moment I'm getting about, and I, when I see Jill, this, this lady I met last year, she's out today, but she was doing the lower hair nap, but she was too far away from me. I was already turning off down Somerton Coombe. I had thought about going to say hello to her. I mean, she might be gone. She might have already come down here. Um, it might have been a bit even, Stevens. With um, I'm not sure which way she would come down, you see. She might even come down the same coombe as I've just done. Because there's less streams to cross. But she might have wellies on. I've done all right. I only had to cross one stream and I'd done it very well. 
and I must remember that that place to cross because the other ones are massively wide and deep and fast moving now I always feel better it's my healer my walking's my healer coming out here with my healer as well this is my healer when I'm out here the smell of the leaves and the, the countryside and you know things like that it's like a beautiful beautiful feeling I get when I'm here I've been here coming here since childhood I've got a very very strong bond with this place I should really have my ashes put up here with Jude's really I should really but Glastonbury is symbolic in a different way for me um, it also has meaning for um, my childhood and visiting the Glastonbury tour and Abbey over the years it's symbolic for Somerset and England it's the last place I ever saw apart from when he was dead um, Zara's father alive in um, the George I think in, in Glastonbury um, that was the last time and Zara had lived there I've taken all my children there and some of the grandkids I've taken there so there's a close feeling for Glastonbury it encompasses the whole of Somerset and England if you like this is a private place this is very private I hope it stays God, it's beautiful it's just coming through here now I'm going to have to stop to take a photograph of this scene this doesn't do it justice to the recorder at the moment because it's showing everything dark. It's showing everything dark, so I need to put a photo on. Over and out.